A small group of environmental activists are taking advantage of a legal provision to stop job creating projects in regional Australia. In my report released last week, Section 487, how activists use red tape to stop development and jobs, I find that since the year 2000, green groups have put over $65 billion of investment at risk by holding major projects up in court for a cumulative total of 10,100 days. The disruption has created a barrier to investment without improving environmental outcomes. Only three out of 51 cases have resulted in substantial environmental changes. This disruption could not come at a worse time. Australia is in the midst of an investment crisis, with business investment now just 10.9% of GDP, a rate lower than the economically hostile Whitlam years. These legal challenges are made possible by a provision in federal environmental law known as Section 487, that specifically empowers green groups to challenge projects that have already been approved by the Federal Environment Minister. It was used to challenge the Adani coal mine, contributing to a planning and approvals process that stretched out to nine years. The delays put at risk an estimated 1,500 jobs in regional Queensland. It was also being used to challenge major coal mines at Malls Creek and Anvil Hill in New South Wales, and a $2.3 billion pulp mill in Tasmania. The law is being abused by green groups who are following a tactic set out by Greenpeace to stop projects outright, increase costs and raise investor uncertainty. The end goal is to prevent investment in the resources industry from even being considered. We must protect our environment, but the government must not allow green groups to use environmental protection as a guise for implementing an anti-development ideological agenda. To end this disruption and encourage investment in job creating projects, Section 487 must be repealed. To read the report, visit ipa.org.au.